feature that runs right through the, the main street. See that? Is there an apple pie? Okay. There was one here, but it was gone and scobbled up. There we go. Yeah. And let's give her a shot. Slunch it. everyone <clears throat> it's the 25th of March just afternoon and today I'm going to explore the little hamlet the little village of Bun Clody. this is as you walk in from the top part where behind me you can see the sign it says Carlo so this is the, where County Carlo starts and now we're in Wexford and we're in Bun Clody. so we're gonna walk through the village and take a look at what Bunkoti looks like in the year 2023. So here behind me at the public library. Now Bunkoti means the bottom of the river. So in Irish translated to English. So uh, it's the bottom of two rivers that actually come through Bunkoti. Uh, the Slaney, which goes all the way down to Wexford, which you've seen on my uh, the Ferry Carrick blogs and that. And here's a bit of the river coming through and the other one is the Clody River which is where the, where the uh, town gets the name from Bun Clody and there's the nice little old building there and then you have the golf club and fishing club so yeah Bun Clody is is located about 15 kilometers um, just north of uh, Ferns which I showed on my Ferns vlog Watch the traffic coming by there, but so it's 15 kilometers north of uh, Ferns. The only problem with getting to Bangkok is you're going to need some transportation. The, um, there's not really great public buses that come out here. Um, there might be some local link ones that you can get to, um, but for the most part, if you're uh, visiting Wexford, um, you'd have to have. Uh, either a car or somebody you know that'll be able to give you a lift to get around up to here but it's a nice little village you got a big church of ireland there at the top of the hill there so what we we'll do is we're going to walk through the main street here first and then we'll go up through little side streets we'll see what it has to offer here's all these little shops so the main street is divided in two and there's this little stream that runs through it. I'm going to show you that. It looks pretty cool. It's 
So on the left you have the NCBI charity shop, Clody Lodge. So place to say now we'll try to cross over. Let's cross over here. We'll take a look at the the water feature that runs right through the, the main street. See that? It's pretty neat the way it goes. So we in. It's a nice little feature. You got these uh, these balls and leaves. Okay, we'll walk down the town and see. Beauty salon, a couple of salons there. You have Redmond's uh, Lounge. And Turf Accountant. Turf Account usually is uh, bookies, the old bookies. I don't know if it's still open, but they have the Boyle Sports over there. Bee, busy Bees Health Service Health Store. And then we got Anita Market. Fresh meat and healthy food. And then Lennon's. I wonder if that's open. So we'll walk down to the end of the street. Like I said, it's, it's not a super huge town. It goes back uh, a couple hundred years ago. It used to be uh, known as uh, Newtown Barry, but that was changed. The more apt we name Bun Cody. There's a little news agent there, chemist. Everywhere has chemists. There's a spar on the other side. And then we'll take a look up at this hill. And there's the church. So we saw the big old one, which is the Church of Ireland. This one's. And then the stream up ahead. Cross over here. There's some nice little shops here too. There's a little market there. Walk around and we'll see with these. There's a nice old building there at the back of the chemist, see? JJ Foot, uh, Murphy Footwear, Wincota Youth Center. Vodafone, St. Vincent de Paul, it's another charity shop, and Nick the Clippers, the Chippers, Chipper Food. And there's uh, selling produce up there. What we'll do is we'll walk over here, and then we'll see if there's anything up here, and then we'll cross over and we'll go see what the market's like. Like I said, it's about a 40 minute drive. It's a 40 minute drive to get here. I'll put the little link of the map what it takes to get up here. Um, we got stuck behind a tractor for the last uh, six kilometers, so it was really slow going. But, you know, it is an agricultural area, um, so it happens. The tailback was goes back quite a bit. It was like, there must have been about 40 cars behind us. So here's the sign for the River Slaney. Take a look at what's up here. What's over here? It's a nice old bridge. to the memory of the men who fell fighting for Ireland at Monclody on June 1st, 1798. So it is a historic town. There was a battle here in Monclody during the 1798 rebellion. And here's the water. It's a beautiful countryside just right at the edge of the town. You can see, I wonder if the GoPro picks up the countryside in the back in the fields. And then you have the river right here. It's a 
beautiful sunny day, but when we were driving in, about 10 kilometers out, it was really dark cloud and it spot of rain, so. But we're blessed right now. The rain's not really bothering us. So we'll walk around here to the end, turn back around, we'll take a look at the river on this side. <clears throat> we'll see what's down here and cut across and go back. Like I said, I've never really been to Bunclody. I passed through it once and we had a, an art exhibition once at the Credit Union way like maybe 10 years ago so I haven't really been to Bunkody so let's take a look at that this is a nice old building here the red right on the side of the road Slaney Cottage right on the water side too. What we do is cross over, we'll head back this way, take a look at the Slaney River from this side of point of view. Now I had a few people ask me for Bunclody, so that's why I put it on my uh, list of places to go see. Um, it is an interesting little town that you can get to. It's not too far from Wexford Town, and it's in the center, so you can go to Inniscordy, Ferns, Gory, all these ways. Plus, you're at the uh, you're at the foothills of the Mount Leinster, so Mount Leinster is right beside us too in Bunkody, So it's pretty neat. And here's the other side of the Slaney River, which basically feeds into uh, into Wexford, into the right by the ferry Carrick. See what this is? And what's this? Let's take a look down here. There we go. So, two minutes before, we were in the village, and now you're on the outskirts. And there's the bridge and the water. Looks like a fish just jumped over there. And it looks like, see those, uh, well that one's like uh, concrete, but they're wooden ones. It looks like for horse jumping. I don't know, comment below if you, if you know a little history behind this. But it's very peaceful. You can come here for a picnic. It's a nice little bridge. Very good. Now we'll head back up and go into the village. We'll go take a look at that little market, see what that has to entail. <clears throat> and then we'll walk around there on the way in, driving in, because it's probably about a five minute drive from where the start of the village starts. We noticed that they had an Aldi there and Mr. Price and a couple of other shops on the way so obviously it starts a little bit earlier here's some more of the water beautiful old trees over the water I love trees And then, this is where we came back down from. It's a fine day. At the start of the spring already. Um, Sunday, the clocks go forward. So we lose an hour, but gain of hour daylight in the evenings. In the summertime in Wexford, the uh, 
you can have uh, daylight up to like 10 o'clock at night, so it's really nice and handy. So here we are at the bottom of the, the main street here. And you can see the sign, there's Bunkoti Walking Trails. So they're located all over the place, and those are free to use. You could just go for a nice stroll. And these maps are located all over. So here we are, Bunkoti. Here's where we came from, Wexford. You know, we've been to New Ross, Carrigburn Hill, Fort Mountain, Kilmore Key. You know, we're gonna go to Hookhead. That's on my agenda, we've been up to Gory. So here's the walking trails that they have around here. The Bunkoti, so where you can go for a walk around. There's the Cody River that comes in. And then there's the Slaney River. And here's a little area to sit and rest. Very nicely done. And then here's a little, looks like a little marketplace. Oh yeah. You're on camera. You're famous. How's it going? Are you? These are all homemade. Uh, Oh, very good. Apple cake, apple tart. Kinds of bacons, homemade brown bread, and these are apple pie. Oh, very good. And these are what jams or they're, chutneys? They're all jams, yeah. Almond banana spread. That's an almond and banana spread. Hmm. Yeah. And then pizzas. Two fifty. Very good. Gotta go get some money. I have no money on me. You don't take machines? No, we don't do the machines. Yeah. So. All right. I'll make my way back. Thank, Thank you. you. So, walk up this way and cross over. And let's cross over now. We'll go on this side, head back down. So, we're on. Look for. Uh, Bank machine, because I don't have any actual cash on me. I should have cash, because we'll go around, we'll see. We we'll might get a something to eat maybe a little later. Or try out a pint somewhere. So here's a Euros bar, which is like a supermarket convenience store. Who's in there? Suits, men's clothes. Cahill Brothers, so it looks like a bit of everything, sort of like Barker's or Cavanaugh's in his wordy. And then Sorrento's Pizzeria. It opens at 3 p.m. So it's not open now, but it'll be open later. And then Sam Macaulay's. You have one of these in Wexford Town. There's one in Gory. I think they're all over the place. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cross over here, go down a bit, and then we'll make our way that end of the town. Bar, Kiosk Lounge. Doesn't look like it's open. Antiques and collectibles. Okay. Okay, that's the world that we came in on. So what I'll do is we're going to walk down this road first and then we'll come down that one later. Yeah. So we'll work our ways. So this is called Irish Street. These are nice little houses that are, looks like old and repurposed some of them, but they're in the shops and the barbers and there's a electrical office. That's neat. And here's another little street that goes. There's a restaurant there called Kelly's. Kelly's Restaurant and Takeaway. Erectical and Cycle Agent. So I think that used to be. I think that's a house now. It's a neat little design though. I like the old buildings. St. Aidan's Hall, 1916. I wonder what this is. Let's 
closed up now, whatever it is. Coal yard coming. There's the old pumps. Get the coal. And this is a tack shop for horse riding and stuff. Yeah, these are all like, used to be like the old signage on top of the doors, but I don't think there's a, is that a funeral home? Murphy? It's 1908 on the front. How are you? Shopping stones. Montessori daycare. Okay. And we'll walk up here. These are some more old homes. I really like the old homes. Neat little signs they have over. They still have kept all the original signs. M wall. Moorhead. I like this too. The end of here and we walk up the steps. Long road. Here's a college for further education. I'm Cody Vocational College. And okay, I think that's about it going up. We'll do. I head back down to the other side. I'm gonna go down that other road that we were at. So I'm gonna turn it off till I get back to where he said. Okay, we're, so we're heading down the street there that heads to the main road that we drove in down to get into Bunkwody from Wexford. And here's a nice little alleyway that has that, that restaurant I told you about, um, Kelly's Restaurant. But there's some nice buildings and homes that are along this. I guess it's a road. Kelly's Restaurant. Doesn't look open. Maybe it's too early. There you go. Uh, 4 p.m. to 9.30 on Fridays and Saturdays and 4.30 to 9 on Sundays. And then here we go, we're at the main street. And then here's uh, Apple Greens for service station. And then to the left of me is the uh, Bancodi Credit Union. So if you're in Ireland, you definitely have to get a credit union account. They're very handy. And there across the street, Bank of Ireland. I think they have an ATM close by, so what I'm gonna do is get some well-needed funds so that I can go back and uh, see those ladies that have those cakes for sale and maybe purchase one So for Emily. So what I'm gonna do is turn it off now, cross over the street, get some money. Accomplished. Federal Reserves are topped up and across the street they have a city fashion and then a Chinese takeaway and the state agent there's Podge's bar but it looks like it's no longer working and also this bar here in front of me this pub doesn't look like it's active either doesn't even have the sign anymore there's TC's antiques and collectibles you get to it from the other side of the street there on uh, Irish Street. So this is called Market Square Street. So Kildavin and Carlo are that way. Carnu is this way. Over that bridge that we took. So what I'm going to do is we're going to walk up. Okay, so we've seen all this sign on uh, the other side. We're going to walk up these ladies and get... Emily a pie or something. She likes brown bread too. I don't know, we'll see. I did promise I would come back, so. There's a proclamation sign right up there, right in the Market Square. And here we are, back again. I'm back. Promise I'd come back. I had to go get some funds, you know. 
Cody. Yes, I'm doing a vlog of Uncle Bun Cody. I have people, a couple of people that follow me. They're in Canada and stuff like that. Yeah, and they, no they said their parental home place is Bun Cody, so they wanted me to do a bit of it. Are you, so. are you Canadian? I am Canadian, but I live in Wexford town for 15 years now. So. Oh, you haven't lost your accent. No, you don't ever lose the accent. And do you know Kevin Lee by any chance? No. Kevin Lee does the, the heritage with the Canadians and okay. their, their whole history of when they moved from Calatin Estate in, just in Carnew okay. to New Ross and then to Canada. He's just come back from Canada yesterday. Oh, so yeah. So can I find him for you? Probably from, uh, they probably settled it, is it from Newfoundland? Because a lot of people from Wexford... He doesn't live, he doesn't no, live in Canada? No, but they went to, they immigrated. A whole emigrated. bunch of people from yeah. Wexford and Waterford immigrated to New Newfoundland. Oh yeah, and I'll, I'll show you this then one second when I finish doing this. Sure. Um, one second now. Um, the big wedding on the so Sorry now if I find this for you. Um, yeah, yeah, no not problem. Not very good, but I'm on the spot, it takes me longer. <laughs> you come all the way from Canada to? Believe it or not, I hate the weather in Canada. I like the Irish weather. It's 10 degrees all year round. <laughs> I think you're the only one there. And yeah, but then after when we had the storm and the snow a few years back, when we had like a meter of snow, they, they say, everyone said, oh no, I understand. Like, so in the summertime, it's 35 above. And in the wintertime, in January and February, it's 35 below. It's hard to live. Yeah. It's terrible. Here it's, you know, Rain. one set of clothes and that's it. You're good. You don't yeah, have yeah, to have yeah, different yeah. tires. And, and have you have your family here or you just decided to come? I My family's originally from Belfast. Okay. So I have a, the Irish passport. So, okay. And I came here and I I just, when I got off the plane. So, so sorry, you yep. say you have an um, Irish passport. How did you get that? What part? Would they live in Northern or Belfast? Belfast. Right? So you would have got an English passport? No, you get an Irish one because the Irish passport consider the whole 32 counties oh. so if you're, your your parents are 32 we should, we, should, we should be 36 counties because there's just up north to see no it's 32 is with the north yeah see these are the yeah. irish and the young got 26 plus yeah. six <laughs> do you see that guy's name there kevin, kevin, lee. kevin lee right yeah you go into his website on Collatin estate i will i'll, I'll go into that kevin i'll message him i'll message him yeah. and look at read that okay it's not for me either no. Oh, very good. He yeah, the does, he, the Collatin House is a huge estate. Okay. It was owned by the Fitzwilliams. It's only about 12 miles that way. Oh, okay. In a place called Shalala. Okay. Right? Where the Shalala stick is actually made as well. Okay. When you go over there, yeah. Kevin Lee does all the history of all the people who left that estate okay. and travelled to Canada. <laughs> oh, very good. It's huge it. Oh, very good. And he has fabulous books if you're looking for any. Definitely will. He was over promoting these books. Okay. Now look up look up Kevin Lee. I will. Because you'll get loads of stuff. Very good. Now what did you want? I'm not no, 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 no. You go on, Joe. See? I'm going Bridget. Joe, I'll see you next week. Please go. Or the cake or the pie is gone. Uh, somebody already took the pie. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll get Emily some brown bread. Is there an apple pie? Okay. There was one here, but it was gone. It scrambled up. There's apple cake. I'm already on it. Apple pie. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, well, listen, anyhow, she was great. You're enjoying being here. No, I will. I'll definitely get that. There we go. Do you uh, want... Want to yes, please. Josie, tell Jeremiah and Joe, would you like a bag of handbags? Yes, please. Just to help me carry it around. Thank you. Hello. I'm only saying if you want. I don't think you No, no. Yes. But he can just. He can also. Yeah, yeah. No, no. He can yeah. help out. And How are you, Jean, since I've seen you? I'm all right, Bridget. Good woman. Nice to all see right. you again. We're back. Oh, we're only back today. All right. Yes, yeah. sir. Very good. Enjoy. Thank you Thank so Thank you very much. much. So, I can't buy my husband any sweet things now. He's. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. No problem. Sugar free so you, bread on. You'll be on the vlog maybe tomorrow or something when I upload it. Okay. Okay. If you want, I'll give you a card. Oh, where do we tune it? Where do we tune it? I'll give you the. I'll give you a card. <laughs> Are we on it now to open?
Not right now. You wouldn't be on it right now, but it will be. I'll upload it later, so. No, she meant to get some recording. There you go. Thank you. Guys, uh, 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 excuse me, what's the name of the car that you're filling us on? Here, I'll give you a copy of it there. Thank you. Very good. Hey, listen, All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mick, <laughs> yep. Thank you, Take care. Okay, very good. I'll, I'll note that in the vlog. So like you said, she's here every Saturday. So got Emily an apple tart. She'll probably give it to her mom. They're nice people. And these are things, nice people that you meet in Wexford town, you Wexford county and Ireland on a whole. You know, people are just nice having a crack. And then we're walking up here on this side of the street, you have the pharmacy and here's a news agent and close now the only thing I'm missing is pint of Guinness so I might, I might go have a pint of Guinness and then we'll meet up with Emily and then we'll head back. So hopefully I'll get to edit this tonight and tomorrow and have it up tomorrow evening to add to my collection of places to visit and see in Wexford. So if you're planning a trip in Wexford, you can look it up for uh, ideas. Or maybe you're feeling homesick and you're from Wexford and you want to just reminisce of what uh, places were like. Here's Redmond's Lounge. Let me see if they're opened up, have a pint of Guinness, and then we'll head up with Emily Wake. See, this is nice little stream, again, that runs right through Market Square. And you look up ahead, that goes into Carlo. So you cross over here, we should be okay. Right beside the shop, Elegance, and Redmond Lounge. Looks like it might be open. Okay, so I'm in Redmond's. This is on the Market Square. Nice establishment. So I ordered myself a pint of Guinness. And for five euros. So value for money. And let's give her a shot. Slunch it. <sighs> Very good. So I'm going to sit back and enjoy this and then we'll link up with Emily and then head back to sunny southeast in Wexford. So this is the bar where I had the pint of Guinness, very creamy, very good, and five euros. Obviously it's connected to this and the turf accountant. Uh, and it is open, so it is a bookies connected to the pub. And this is where we came in from before. Now we didn't go up this side of the street. We could walk up a bit. See if there's anything. So this is the St. Mary's Church. It's a Church of Ireland. It's a big one on the top of the hill. Marita's hair salon. Sadler's house. Yeah, and I think this is just residential buildings that go up. And we'll go to the end of the wall. And if there's nothing, we'll turn it off. Head back, try to collect Emily. Head back down. But the town is fairly clean. Yeah, these are just residential houses alongside and opposite the church. And it goes up. I think there's some older houses there. And that's it. And there's Cody help. Oh well, hope you enjoyed it. 
don't remember to hit the uh, hit the subscribe and the like button and the bell to be notified of my upcoming videos when they get released. And thanks again. Happy Saturday.